Let's quickly go and see what the tribunal said and why GCNet will not get any money from Ghana, but they have to pay money to Ghana, the arbitral award. Here it is. The tribunal unanimously decided that Ghana had validly terminated. Oh, wow. I love this. The tribunal had unanimously decided that Ghana had validly terminated the agreement on the 28th of April 2020 within the meaning of Article 11.3, and the termination was lawful. The tribunal also found that GCNet was the unsuccessful party in the arbitration and that Ghana had expended money and time in defending a claim that the tribunal has held to be ill-founded. It therefore award ordered that GCNet shall pay a total of 2 million 185,983.21 to Ghana in legal fees. This is the award of the tribunal. Congratulations to all the people at the Attorney General's Department, especially the Leonard Attorney General, Godfrey Yeboah Adame, the deputies, uh, the Honorable Leonard Tuya Yeboah and the Leonard Dina Asunaba Dapa. Here they are in the photo, the successful Ghanaian team. Oh, wow. Don't we love them? They went all the way to London and told GCNet that ah, you can go and bend the sea. We also know law. You are not going to intimidate us with anything international. We, uh, we studied in Ghana. We didn't study at Harvard, but we will show you that we have studied the law. Godfrey Debo Adame seated with Diana Sinabadapa and the rest of the team. All of them were in London to defend the arbitration, and the Attorney General was very, very confident that they were going to win this case. I can imagine the delight of the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Trade. I'm sure the Minister of Finance was sitting on tenterhooks hoping that he will not be told that he needs to cough up 3 billion Ghana CDs <laughs> in the region of 118 million dollars. 750,000 is what DC Net were looking for. They got zero. And instead, they said they should pay the government 2.2 million. Wow. Wow. Now, I don't hear Eduji Tamaklo talking about this on his social media page. Tamaklo, where are you? Come and put it down that Attorney General has saved government 2.2 million. The man that you will call dishonorable Attorney General, you call him Minister of Injustice. He's the one saving the taxpayers' money. What have you done? He saved the taxpayers' money. Godfrey Yebo Adami and his team, they saved the taxpayers' money. Look at Katie Amon in his, in his heart. Don't you admire him? This is beautiful. You, you feel proud as a Ghanaian when you see some of these things. It doesn't have to do with NPP or NDC. Nothing to do with NPP or NDC. It has to do with efficient government systems. People who are qualified and competent to deliver the job. No square pegs in round holes like we have had over the last 67 years of independence. Too much of that. Square pegs in round holes. People who are not supposed to be there are there. People who don't understand what they should do are doing this. And people call communicators come on TV to come and insult J.A. Kufo. That's all they know. They can't think any policy. They can't develop anything for Ghana. They can't add anything to Ghana. They subtract from Ghana. They give us bad language, bad culture, indecent behavior. Those are not the people that we should elect. We should elect people who have demonstrated over time that they have the competence, the expertise, the experience, the temerity, the discipline to move this country forward. That's what we need. Not people who come and stand there and tell an elder statesman that he's on a wheelchair. Who do you think you are? This is what we should celebrate. Let's go back to Adisadel. Godfrey Ebu Adame, congratulations.